Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. That wanted to flip out. Door to personal healing and happiness. Um, yeah, man. Look, at you guys are getting close to an energetic match here. And this person wants to talk. I'm telling you, they're wanting to talk. They're I feel like this. there's a masculine out here. I'm sorry. There's a masculine out here that... Um, is planning on talking to you. I feel like they're trying to manifest you right now, maybe possibly trying to get their strength up. For some reason, I'm feeling like hermit energy off of this card as well. Kind of on shutdown mode, going within, okay? That's what the hermit does. Um, but anyway, <laughs> thank you everyone. I gotta get through my spiel, right? Thank you everyone for all of your support. Um, the likes, subscribes, comments, um, the smiley face emojis, the nicknames. Thank you everybody. I love you right back. And um, just know, like, um, like I always say, uh, this is for the collective. It may not resonate with all of you, so take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Yeah, this person wants to get on the same temple path with you, but I feel like you're going in a different direction here. I'm also seeing a split. I'm, You know what? I'm getting the feeling like this is a karmic individual here that's kind of having a lot of anxiety. Um, they know that they're about to be hit with a huge tower moment here. Um, because this masculine wants to take a new direction. Whatever they've got going on between them, it is dead. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I'm feeling kind of like a death off of this here, you know? And so I feel like this, there's a, whoever your person is currently with, um, they're having a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety. They're doing a lot of crying. Uh, they're really starting to lose it here. But yeah, they're, this is like a, this is a person that's kind of accepting this. Like they know it's going to happen anytime. At any time, this masculine is going to speak their truth. They're just gathering up the courage to do it right now is really what I'm feeling like. They're trying to, you know, suck in all of that energy, right? They're trying to, um, they're just kind of taking a breather before they speak their truth here. You know, I feel like, um, maybe they want to heal this thing with you with a door to personal healing and happiness. Um, yeah, I, they, they want you and this is someone who is very close to your energetic match right now, okay? So they are about to speak their truth. Um, yeah, I feel like they're they're feeling kind of hostile, too. Um, geez, what is this, man? Heart chakra and hostilities? I just feel like they don't feel the same way about this karmic. Um, this masculine is completely turning on this karmic. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. They're completely turning on them. And I feel like, you know, whoever this, and I don't want to say it's a karmic because I don't know. I mean, this is a, this is someone in a relationship with this person and they know it's about to end because your person wants somebody else. They, they, they want this, you know? They want someone else. And so this is a, this is somebody who I feel like this masculine blames this person. Okay, this feminine energy. Um, they're completely turning on them. It's, they're showing, you know what, okay. The scene from the, okay, and I haven't seen this movie for so long. Um, Cujo. They're showing me Cujo. Um, how Cujo went from a really awesome dog and then just turned rabid really fast. That's what this is. I feel like your person is just completely turning on this, on this feminine energy here that's falling apart because they, they know they have to split. This is a split, okay? 
Blossoming Abundance. Clarify Blossoming Abundance for the Collective. I feel like this masculine is angry and blames this um, this feminine energy here uh, for ruining their abundance. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Yeah, there's been lies, deceit, betrayal. I wonder if they found something out. If they're um, look, if this is, if this is a marriage, they're getting a divorce here, or this masculine feels like something like they were wronged. Um, some kind of lies, I feel like, have come uh, come to light here. Lies, deceit. This masculine is quickly turning into Cujo and turning on this feminine energy really fast. Blaming this, this, um, this person that they chose over you, I feel. Blaming them um, for missing out on all of this abundance here. Okay, they feel like it's it's an injustice. They feel like it's unfair. They're feeling heartbroken, but very hostile against whoever they're with. You know, I feel like they want to offer their heart to you. Um, yeah, and this karmic has been an attachment. Like, um, they've been codependent, and the mask is coming off. So, yeah, it's over. Yeah, look. And you've been, I feel like this is the person that you've been waiting to hear from, okay? You made it through the garden gate. That's why this masculine is so mad. You know, they could have shared this journey with you and shared all this blossoming abundance. I feel like that's your abundance. They missed out on their destiny, okay? And they're angry, really, really angry. <laughs> Um, at this, at whoever this is. And now I'm feeling like this is a karmic individual. Um, they're extremely codependent. I feel like this person, I don't know what they're codependent for. Uh, they, they're, I feel like it's trauma bonding. I feel like there's, there could be mental issues here, mental health issues. Um, it could be for money. I kind of get the feeling like maybe they've been together for a long, long time and this car this who this karmic doesn't know what to do without this person. That's how codependent it is, okay? But yeah, um this masculine is really hostile towards this karmic individual um because they could have had a cornucopia of goodness and now it, it, this person, they have financial constraints. They don't have any food in their cupboard. I mean, it's bare bones. They're broke. So, yeah, they could have had this, though. I feel like that's um, what they could have had had they met you at this garden gate. And I feel like now that gate is closed. So this is telling me that um, you're not giving this person another chance. You waited for them, and I feel like you're very hopeful that this person will at least give you the truth, okay? You're waiting for something, but the gate is closed. So I feel like you just want an explanation. You want some respect. You want somebody to show you some respect, okay? Um, and I feel like you're waiting for this masculine's transformation. You're waiting for them to grow up and boss up and confront the situation and face you. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. You're waiting for your justice, but you also really want to see this masculine become strong, you know? And I feel like they are now, but they're taking it to extremes, okay? They're really hostile with this karmic individual. All right? Yeah, they, it's almost like they want to see this karmic hurt for um, keeping them from you and their abundant future and their destiny. All right? Yeah, and I feel like you're out in the spotlight here. Um, everything is being exposed here as well. Like, there's there are no more illusions. There's just no more illusions. They can't survive under all this sun. So I feel like all the illusions are down. You're, this masculine, they can see everything clearly. 
they know that you've been over here waiting for them for a long period of time to change and transform and give you some respect and justice, right? And, and make things fair somehow. Um, you could be in the public eye here as well, but uh, you could also be a Leo. You could be a Leo. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm feeling Virgo here. Um, yeah, or something could have happened in December or September. Um, uh, your person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm also feeling Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I've got Libra out here possibly, um, especially for the karmic. I'm feeling like a Gemini, Libra energy. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you could be a Sagittarius as well. Yeah, look, I feel like now that you've made it through the garden gate, all these doors of opportunity open for you, okay? So you're starting a whole new journey here. And I feel like you are in the spotlight. You could have your own platform out here or just be on social media. My hand is really itchy, so I know that I know this is the truth, okay? For some reason it just started itching. Um yeah, and I'm also feeling like this person, this masculine, feels like they missed their opportunity with you. I feel like this person is in love with you here, but um, they didn't make it in time. I, and that's why they're angry. With that gate closed, you're done. And I feel like they know that. They know that. So they're... <laughs> they keep showing me... So, um, Scenes from Cujo, you guys. Uh, your masculine is seriously, oh my gosh, they are so turning on this karmic. Um, oh my gosh. And the, and the karmic, because of that, the karmic knows it's, it's over. Okay, it's over. Yeah, look, this masculine is finding the doorway to spirit, okay? Um, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They know who they want. And they, they're, this is somebody who is, you know, um, ready to commit, I feel. Okay? But um, they have to break free from this karmic situation first. But yeah, all they can think about is you. You're the only one. I, I, who can fill this glass slipper? Okay, I always see this crystal as a glass slipper. It's just me. Um, but yeah, that's what they're thinking about. Um, they, and they're ending something here with a 10. Wanting this new beginning with you. Um, I feel like this person's being enlightened. They're, being, they're, they're wanting to level up and upgrade in their life. Um, they're being called, I feel, to do their work and get themselves out of the situation. Yeah, all they want is you. You're an empress energy here, I feel, having this victory. Um, you could also be a cancer. You could be dealing with um, maybe a Taurus, Aries, possibly a Virgo energy here. Uh, and with the 10, look, this person's closing up cycles here. So are you. We've got two 10s. You're closing up a cycle, having a victory. This is like the world card, the chariot moving forward to you, and your person's closing up um, their cycle. Thinking about you, I'm kind of getting the sense that this is more like, um, like the Ten of Swords energy, okay? That's, they feel very betrayed also by this karmic because this karmic got in the middle of this connection but see, the thing is, is this, this masculine doesn't have anybody to blame but themselves. I hate to say it, but it's true. I mean, they, they are, they do have free will and they, they have made their own decisions after all. So really, they need to take a look at themselves, but that's why the door to spirit is here. You know, this person needs to look at themselves and what they're doing wrong, you know? I, th I feel like we all have to. So, yeah. Um, 
You're you're ending the cycle though. This is you ending a cycle with a ten, having a victory. They're ending a cycle with a ten in the Ten of Swords. Realizing that there's not going to be any replacing you. No one else is going to fit in that glass slipper. No one. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this person's about ready to take some action. And they're, I feel like they're really upset because you've, now they see your value, okay? But you also have monetary value. I feel like you're about to have like a big net worth. Um, you've got money coming, just flying towards you here out of this door to value. Um, so yeah, they're kind of, they're pretty upset about that. This person's pretty irate. Okay? They are. They're acting like a rabid dog towards this karmic. You know, because this is what they missed. And, you know, I always get divine masculine energy off of this, Archangel Metatron. I don't know why, but I just do. And this is a divine number here as well with an 1111. And I feel like this is somebody who's starting their journey, being called to come through this door. They're closing out a cycle. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who's starting to boss up here, I have to say. This is also intuition. This person could be very intuitive. This masculine, I feel, is very highly intuitive. What they, I feel like their biggest problem is they didn't trust that intuition, okay? But they are intuitive. And now that they've seen uh, everything has been exposed here and they know um, that they shouldn't be in this karmic situation, they can't unsee that. They know and they're breaking free from this karmic. It's like, I, you know, I don't know why I keep getting three days, three days. So this karmic may realize, let me just look at this picture. And look, yeah, we have three window panes. I knew it was something in the windows. We have three window panes. So I feel like maybe they're fully aware in like three days time, that's about all they have left with this masculine. They're that irate with this karmic. Like, if it hasn't already popped off, it's going to very, very soon. Yeah. I don't know why three days is very important here. But I feel like you, you're in this balanced energy here. You're not in your emotions. You're thinking logically. You're very balanced. Um, you know, I feel like you're just focusing on new, new right now okay um but yeah you're in a calm peaceful state right now receiving messages from the divine focusing on new things that are happening in your life okay yeah um i don't want these i want these let's see how your person is feeling right now it already on the bottom of the deck they're freeing their, themselves from something i cannot make it up they're freeing themselves from this um, from this karmic individual, and I feel like it is a karmic. You know, they could have also done some spell work here, knowing that it's coming back on them because of this dark attachment card. Um, whatever it is, it's just it's been revealed to your person, and they're getting themselves out of that situation, but they're not doing it in a kind way. Oh no, oh no, um, they're, you know, um, ver at least verbally attacking this, this karmic, I feel. Or it will happen in, like, I feel this week, okay? Uh, so this, I feel like this is the, this is this, this is the karmic freaked out. Look, same look on their face, look at that. They're worried. They're scared. They're very uneasy because they know um, that they're about to lose that, that situation with this person. Okay, what? how does this masculine feel? Ooh. Angry. Look at this. Look at how angry this is. I told you guys. They're, they're, it's like Cujo. They are totally turning on this person. 
what did I say? Hostile. And it's that's this hostility card. Oh my goodness, where is it? Here it is. Hostilities. And it says hostile, vengeful, and spiteful and hateful right there. That's how they're feeling right now towards the karmic. I kid you not. I cannot make that up. Frustrated. They know they're out of time. Um, you may even already have this person blocked. They feel very stuck. They're, they're angry. They're hostile. They're, they are vengeful towards this karmic. They know they don't have any more time left. We've got depression. That They're desperate here. They're desperate to hang on to you. I feel like you're, they already know you closed that gate. You closed that gate collective. Okay? Yeah, look, there's you, there's you on the bottom of the deck. Happy and excited and getting enthusiastic and everything happy and ready for the new new. All right? Yeah, your person is, uh, oh, this is literally how they feel. This is why the karmic is sitting here crying. They know the days are numbered. Their days in, are numbered in this relationship. The karmic knows it. Yeah, you win, collective. I'm telling you, you're the winner out here anyway. You're, you're accomplishing great things for yourself. The, you know, the second you decided to focus on you instead of this person in this situation, that's when you started winning. You know, I feel like you're having a victory here. You're accomplished. You're accomplishing a lot. You're, you're the treasure. And this person, they lost you. And you just keep collecting your wishes in a, in a basket here, one after the other, and they lost you. Because they broke your trust. Because they broke your trust. Some of you could be moving away. This person could feel like they need to move away, but um, they may need to even travel to get to, to come towards you. This could be a long distance connection. But yeah, they broke your trust, and you were the one. Look at look at you. Look, you were the one collective you were bam when they're curled up in a little ball someplace crying heartbroken they don't know how you're how they're gonna get you back you're and you're leaving look they're breaking free they are freeing themselves from this but will it be too late will it be too late because I don't see you waiting for this person anymore. I don't see you slowing yourself down, waiting for them to catch up anymore. I don't even see you focusing on their transformation anymore. I see you heading into the future, having learned your lessons, and you're leaving this person behind. That's what I see. And your person sees it too. They know it too. So, yeah, they're freeing themselves from a toxic situation. But will it be too late to catch up with you? With you. 